Hi, this is Eric with Newtel Networks, and this is the introduction to the Fax Portal online. If you can, open up a web browser and go to fax.standardbell.com, and that will bring you to this page. Uh, you will have your login and your password as indicated in the email you've received. Put that in and press login. This is the home page right here, and this is what we're looking at at the moment. When you go in here, it says you currently have two messages. Now, this is my mailbox. You guys will have more or less depending on your traffic. You can click here to view your messages, or you can just click here to view faxes. My faxes that I have not opened yet are indicated by a star. Those are the new ones. Uh, received date, you can see it goes back to 10 2018 I don't receive a whole lot of faxes. Uh, these are the times that the fax arrived the caller ID of the person who sent them, and then this is my fax number. This indicates it's one or two pages. From here, I can download if I choose. And then once I download, it will appear in my, in my uh, desktop as a PDF file. So I can scroll through this and I can open, say, I can open it, save it to my desktop however I want to do. So, at that point, you can do what you need to do with it. Um, you can forward this if you choose. So you can forward it to an email address. And then you could send it that way. Um, in this case, let me go back to view faxes here. You can also move it to a folder and you can uh, create and uh, you can create folders and put different file fa different faxes in different files. You can also delete it if needed. You can select all and then move them all to a folder. You can delete them all. You can email them all, whichever you choose to do, or even download all. If you do want to send a fax, you can do it from here. So in here, you will put in a phone number and then press the add key. You verify, you can actually, you can actually um, add multiple numbers if you want. If you want to send one fax to multiple numbers, you can do that by putting another number and pressing plus. And then this is this will be your fax number here will be reflected and then choose continue now you can upload your own file which is probably what you will mostly do um, you can choose file and then within there you can go to whatever you need to go to um, and you can download any type of file or pdf um, or actually even a photograph you can actually upload a photograph so you would select it there and then you could just click upload file so so um it shows you here jpeg pdf adobe postscript tiff files microsoft word excel comma separated values html plain text formats are all supported here uh, there are of course some files that aren't supported but this is going to be most of your business type files so you can just choose that upload and then you can choose to send um i'm going to go back to send a fax and Let's put in 435656, whoops, pardon me, 2828. It does save the numbers that you put in here. I will add it, and then I will continue. If I want to do like a Microsoft Word type um, uh, up, upload, we can do that. I'm sorry, I just hit the wrong button. Here we go, Office Style Online Editor. We can choose this. It will ask us for a name, so let's do... Um, SWS and P will edit document and we'll wait for just a moment and this will populate up here and it, this is now a Microsoft Word style um, entry point so you can just type hello this is Eric now at this point I can change the font if I want I can put it in italics whatever you want to do once you're done you can submit it and then at this point, you can send the fax or cancel. If you do want an email um, of the post, pro the post processing email, you can choose that. And then you can choose an address to send that to. Now, this is going to be one address per account. Um, so just be aware of that. I'm not going to hit send fax at this moment, but I will show you once we've sent a fax using this format. Uh, and that's key, using this format. It will show up in our sent faxes. And so we can always go through here and look and see. Now I can tell that all of these have been delivered because they've got green check mark by them. 
So this is kind of our confirmation here, uh, if you will. I can always go back and download and see the faxes I've sent, or I can delete them. Uh, my contacts, if you want to, you can actually put in a whole bunch of contacts that make it easier for you when you send a fax, uh, and they, they can all be in there. So you can put that in if you choose to. Uh, when you do send, when you do choose to send a fax, and once it's sent, it will show up here. Uh, it will show pending while it's waiting for the other fax machine to answer. But once the other fax machine receives it, it will say successful. Um, th please note that this is only for faxes you send through this portal. If you send it from the fax machine, it does not show up here. Um, back to view faxes. Anything that anyone faxes you will indeed show up here uh, and it will also print on your fax machine so if you received a fax let's say um, today and on friday you have misplaced it somebody misplaced it you can go, always go in here scroll through search it find it and then choose to download that one fax and then you'll have it uh, if you do have any questions feel free to contact us 435-673-7400